Hey family members, welcome back to our channel. I am Tomike Adelie. Today's vlog, okay, first of all, I know I'm owing you guys a lot of vlogs. We have not finished the journey that we started a few months ago, but I promised to actually update it. I wanted to go in a particular sequence and I'm going to do justice to that. So I promise you, I'm going to give you that one because I know there's been a lot of messages from pregnant women, pregnant family members say, oh, Tomike, you only the first trimester. The second trimester, uncle, I want to know what to expect. Although it's different for different women but then it just feels good once in a while when you know that oh someone has gone through this someone has experienced this and you kind of have, have an idea of what to expect what might happen what might not happen yep oh wow an helicopter anyway today's video is basically featuring tips on how to stay at a hotel with a baby or travel with a baby we've been traveling for the past <laughs> should i say a few weeks or one week and it's been fun but at the end of the day there are certain things that have happened that i'm like oh maybe if i was better prepared for this this wouldn't have happened not like anything bad happened but i'm just saying this video is just to guide you if you just had a baby or you're traveling with your baby for the first time or you're going to stay at a hotel with your baby for the first time here are some things that would help your stay and help you enjoy your stay so welcome to our channel and i do hope you enjoyed this video Yes? Can go and sit in there. Okay. Let's choose the name of the car. Okay, thank you. Let's cover her. Yeah. Okay. Bolu, thank you for our diaper bag. With the rock cam. Just another sunny day in Southern California. guys so um what was that okay <laughs> okay guys so um first on the list um what would i say first on the list is um i think this would be the item for my first on the list this is a portable baby bassinet 
this can literally stay on the bed this was actually from my brother-in-law which was at his house when we went there because we shipped our bassinet to his house but yeah it had not gotten there by the time we got there so he had this as backup and then when it was time for me to resume work i realized that oh this would actually be perfect for the baby and it's easy to pack it's not heavy but you know it would take some space in your luggage but you you have a baby you are not packing for yourself alone so you ha you have to be ready to sacrifice a whole lot of space and here is one thing this video is not for people who are intending to travel light with a baby because for me traveling light is not top of my list what tops my list is traveling with the essentials that the baby needs to ensure that we have a comfortable stay so i'm not trying to travel light if you are trying to travel light this video might not be for you because some of the items i have are really bulky so this is first on the list a portable baby bassinet um here's how it works so you literally just open it up and put it on the bed and then we usually request for extra blankets or bed sheets from the um housekeeping hotel housekeeping and they give us so that we can stack this up and make it a big thicker and more comfortable for the baby next on the list is this i'm breastfeeding exclusively and i realized that one thing that hasn't really been so smooth here is my breastfeeding journey because the refrigerator is not, i don't understand it's not cold it's cold but it's not it's not the kind of coldness that i'm used to at home and you know these small fridges and the upper part that's supposed to be like a freezer is not it's not freezing anything so i don't even understand what is going on so that the milk doesn't spoil i had this stack of milk that i brought from home hoping that when i'm working mommy can feed the baby with those bottles and there's no pressure to express a lot because i might not really have time to express but yo everything got spoiled and i had to throw it away about more than 10 bottles of um milk that i had expressed and kept in the freezer for a while for emergency now because i moved to a hotel or i've been moving around hotels due to work i had to literally throw them away so one thing you should get ready for is your milk storage system i actually brought a lot of bottles and another thing i brought was some really small bottles the, the ones they gave us at the hospital the one time use that you can use and trash immediately so once i express i put them in those bottles and the very first challenge we faced as soon as we got to the hotel was <laughs> no kettle okay you have your milk how do you want the milk for the baby there are two options you can actually put it on that running tap you know the hot water that comes out from the tap which i, I don't really like because i don't know at times i just feel like the water might slip into the bottle which if you do carefully it might not happen but the best thing is just to put the bottle inside um a cup of hot water yeah. and then <laughs> yeah. and then the best thing to do is actually put in a cup of hot water yeah. if you have <laughs> grandma you and your baby are disturbing my video <laughs> and so um it's either you do that so you boil water obviously not boiling water or you use a bottle warmer <laughs> but one thing i noticed is that bottle warmers are really big which is why i really really love this product baby's brew so this product is super portable um it's rechargeable you just charge it and you attach how do i demonstrate this you basically attach your bottle to it I'll show you a picture of how it works. You basically attach the bottle to it and then you set the temperature and this warms up your milk in 10 minutes or thereabouts. So this is a lifesaver. It's baby's brew. I would um, put their handle there. So if you are thinking of getting it, it's a portable bottle warmer and it's a lifesaver. So before we had the baby's brew, what we actually had to do was call them and say, oh, please, we need a kettle. And they're like, oh, we don't have kettle due to COVID, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that one, that's true. You don't have kettle, but you have television, you have other things. <laughs> Okay, no television and kids is not the same thing. But anyway, the housekeeping lady came and she helped us and she said you can use the coffee making machine to boil water, which was a good one. So literally instead of adding the the coffee, you just where's that? Is? I'll be right back. Okay, family members. Okay, so she showed us how to, you know, use the coffee maker to get hot water. So you literally just pour water at the top, like you want to brew your coffee, and then instead of adding the coffee for it to brew you don't you don't add anything so all that comes out is hot water and so that was our solution initially but then now we have baby's brew and we can always you know warm our bottles on the go everything at this hotel is just what it's just sophisticated so i called the reception hi please may i get ice make my hard end milk no spoil i said they should give me ice what did I hear? Oh, there are ice stations on every floor when you... What's your room number? No, she didn't ask me for my room number. I'm lying. <laughs> she said, um, when you come out of your room, all the way to the left, you see the ice machine. And um, you can grab the ice yourself. Monique Oburu. It's okay. Mm. 
it's okay so the ice is actually for milk Made the milk no spoiler big okay so moving on to the next we got into okay i told you about the fact that the fridge wasn't so cold and all of that and because we just arrived i just expressed and there was nowhere to keep it they had to get me a fridge and i couldn't wait for the fridge to get cold i didn't want the milk to spoil so i called them i requested for ice which is something you can always do because they are ice buckets but this hotel is a very you can see the view we're on the 63rd floor and I think they have a lot of customers, so it's a serve yourself situation. I say I need ice. So you go down the hall. There's a ice machine there, so you get the ice yourself. So I carried this, went to get ice, and I literally just put the I surrounded um, the bottle with with the ice. I don't want to take it out. It's too much stress to actually do that. So this is good for now. I don't know what I'm going to do when I have more milk to store, but hopefully I'll figure that out as I'm talking. Somebody is talking in the background too. <laughs> Our baby is talking in the background too. Another thing that is very, very important is, guess what it is? It is dishwashing liquid soap. I mean, this is very important because you want to wash your bottles. That's obviously, I was going to say if you're breastfeeding exclusively, but even if you are not, you probably have formula and all of that and you need to wash your bottles. And the soap in the bathroom is for bathing and not for washing bottles. So, uh, <laughs> ignore this um, choco milk. I actually poured some soap into this from home because I, I didn't want to have to start coming here to look for where to buy soap and all of that. So I just poured the little I'll need into this. And then up next, another thing that tops my list is this bowl. I um, was very excited. Was I excited? I was just happy that I took it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was so excited that I. I was so excited. I was just happy that I took it because at the end of the day, you want to um, wash your bottles, and even at home, they advise you that you shouldn't put your bottles in the sink directly. You put them in a bowl or a container that you used to wash the bottles and wash them there, so that you know to avoid the risk of infection. Infection of yeah you get the point so anyway the bottles are here i don't <laughs> i don't put any of the baby stuff on the sink because obviously i don't want the baby stuff being on the sink yo sister <laughs> i'm talking you're talking right on <laughs> she's concurring telling you that i'm telling you the truth <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm sure she's going to be hungry very soon, so I have to speed up this video because those bottles are for tomorrow. I don't want them to use them, <laughs> use them up today. So you, you put everything in here and you literally wash here. I also take my sponge along and this, <laughs> and this one as, and this one as well. So yes, this might be very important. You might need a bowl to put your bottles to wash them. So that's that about this one up next obviously i traveled with my medela pump the electric pump i haven't used this yet because there are a lot of things to wash when you use it so i haven't really used it yet i've been using the manual pump because i remember the first day i stepped out of the house when i went to work i resumed work yo my breasts were so heavy like i could feel that i was far away from home even without me like knowing that i'm far away from home because i wasn't breastfeeding constantly like they were so heavy they were a bit painful at some point so this might be your go-to your um, a portable manual um breast pump this is from medela and it's very very effective that's what i was using they gifted me this at the hospital nigerian hospitals left the group chat it will sell it to you they would never give you this <laughs> but anyway i have the electric one as well and another thing i was going to say is ziploc bags you might want to get a lot of ziploc bags if you are traveling they come in very handy i use it to store everything and anything especially liquids and things that can pour our soap okay i put the bottles here as well our soap our cream and all of that they are in ziploc bags so yeah you might want to get ziplocs but ziploc bags because they are easy to store i'm sorry i'm rushing obviously you can see why and this is a lifesaver lysol i remember like every time i vlog going to a hotel you guys always see this and <laughs> you are used to seeing this already because it's always the first thing i do when i enter the hotel so now that i have a baby obviously it tops my list as well i would always spray everywhere disinfect everywhere even though they claim to have disinfected at the hotel but you you gotta do what you don't do by yourself somebody's hungry and i gotta run very soon Hi. <laughs> up next we have this one i bought this one for our ears because obviously traveling affects their ears the same way it affects adults they are human beings just like you and so we use it one day i don't know if it's god's grace or if this was what worked but she was perfectly fine she had no issues but traveling with a baby the best thing to do is usually to breastfeed because like when you're on a plane and your ears are blocked what do you do you swallow so 
sucking also is a form of swallowing and it helps clear their ears so the best thing to do while you're traveling is to breastfeed your baby during takeoff and landing like they usually advise and up next is this travel size petroleum jelly and travel size products the very first time we traveled locally they took out my vaseline i was very upset but what could i do i've forgotten because they say you can carry a diaper bag and carry this it occurred to me that you can't carry certain sizes and they threw it into the bin imagine my brand new vaseline but i had to go get travel sizes so you might want to get travel size products baby products so that they don't trash your things when you get to security when you're about to board and with these few points of mine oh yes this as well a cover um a nursing cover i have like several ones so this one this is how it works here yeah. you put this over because obviously you would want to breastfeed your baby in public i mean baby's gotta eat don't care who's looking that's the most important thing so you might want to travel with covers as well and um i think that is all okay i also have freezer bags yes for to store the milk and it also comes with um ice packs so that you can put this in the freezer you put this in the i prefer the medela freezer bag actually this one i don't know the, the milk doesn't really stay so cold for long but the medela freezer i'll be right back okay so where was our freezer bags they come with um ice packs and um you put this this is medela ice pack like i said i prefer the medela freezer bag it's okay it's right here i don't know it just seems to keep for longer yeah and um so i put this in the freezer um for like two three hours and it gets frozen and then you use it to store your bottles obviously so that you could preserve your milk so that is that about my experience so far traveling with a baby it's been fun i mean the sweetest part is the fact that we're going in a private jet which is more comfortable and more convenient you don't uh, they haven't trashed my vaseline because nobody's checking my diaper bag or anything so but if you are traveling locally which i will be doing very soon you have to you know comply with the rules and regulations and all of that so with these few points of mine i do hope you've learned one thing or the other i'm literally running through this video because you see somebody's making noise in the background which means it's time to feed and this precious milk is for tomorrow not for tonight so we have to save it <laughs> if not we would have fed out with that so um so guys one thing i forgot to add was this on the list let's see yep this is a micro steam bag so instead of you using the microwave sterilizer you can use this i like this because it's super portable and this is like i said from medela and um all you have to do is actually put the items that you want to sterilize in here you add um 60 ml that's two ounces of water and then you put in the microwave so this is also perfect if you're traveling you can use this up to 20 times um once you use you tick there's some sections at the back that you can tick to show how many times that you've used it so you tick after every use so this is also very good if you're traveling but that's if you would um, have a microwave wherever it is that you're going um there's some hotels where you get to request for a microwave i requested for for one at the previous hotel where we stayed but this hotel i asked them for a microwave they said we do not have microwave so i had to improvise and go the old way i don't know if you can see yep so i literally after washing the bottles i put like boiling hot water in this and um voila so there's hot water in here and then i just leave the bottles for a bit in hot water so that's how i'm going to sterilize the bottles god will help me sterilize it this one is just my own sterilization god has taken control so yeah i just wanted to add this could be really handy if you're traveling and you have like things that you want to sterilize obviously you would always have things to sterilize if you have a baby so yeah again for I have this habit where if certain things, especially if it's things to be put in the mouth or whatever, if they fall in the bathroom, I don't want to know. I'm not picking it up. I No, I pick it up and throw it away, obviously, because I can't leave it there. But I'm just saying, like, to use If this had fallen out, I don't know if I go to Camo. Hello, mom. 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 I'm talking to you, my baby girl. Stop. I'll see you later. That is that about that as far as that is concerned. I'll see you some other time. If I forget anything, I will type it in our outro as usual. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Grandma.
So, <laughs> only say short of words. I was looking for the hotel menu. I said, I said, let me call them because I'm done. Initially, I was trying to open the fridge. I couldn't open it. I had to call them. Then they said they locked the fridge because of um, COVID, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, that one left, went. Uh, I said, where's the menu? I called them. I said, do you have your remote handy? I said, yes, it's handy. So you might want to turn on your TV. Koburu, I turn on the TV. So they said, click a menu button on the remote. Uh-huh. I click the menu button. Okay, so this is the menu button. And then go to hotel directory. And then dining services all for menu that they could have printed on paper for me but it's okay and then in room dining and then i'll scan this code to have okay can you see open a safari and then as soon as i open i can download to my phone now wow uh, now so that's where the menu is i just said let me just there are so many things that are just very different about this hotel First of all, the view. This is like the 64th floor. Second of all, the elevator. Not the regular. You press up and you go up. You have to input the number. I'll show you when I go to the elevator. When you input the number, it will tell you which of the elevators you are going in. As I almost entered the wrong one in it. <laughs> as soon as it opened, I just thought, okay, it's going up now. And then, thankfully, it was like, oh, no, you have to put the number of um, the floor you are going to. And then it will tell you which. Emma knew me. Emma knew me, are you a little book book on necessary? <laughs> anyway, this is the menu. I'm going to check out the menu. And that's all. Goodbye. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. <laughs> Thank you. Around here is fine? Yep, this is fine. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Is this season? Oh, uh, yes. That's yeah. Yes. And also we have this is the chicken. Okay. And this is the burger, the last one, you know, that chicken sandwich. Oh, okay, thank you. Look at you, mama. Look at you, mama. Tell me why you were making noise in two sentences. Was I lying? I wasn't lying now. Look at you. Look at you, baby girl. What is hungry? <laughs> Hello, mom. Oh, you know what? what uh, uh. You know where the camera is? All right, I'm a feature. This camera from, <laughs> from inside the womb. Chuku 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 chuku. Yeah, come at it. Somebody's hungry. All right, guys, say bye. Say thank you for watching. Huh? <laughs> That's very rude of you. <laughs> bye, guys. See you in my next video. If you like, like. If you like, comment. If you like, subscribe. I leave you. <laughs> God be with you. Goodbye. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Come and hug me, my love. <laughs> Give me a big hug. Oh my God. <laughs> I was on my show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because you didn't know where we're coming from. <laughs> is feeding our baby let me just tell you now family members look at that cheeks baby ain't hungry fam she feeding our baby Bokomo, what is this now? Hey, me too, but it be more many years. Me too, snap back. Tommy can kill us, Shelly. Tommy can give me the sauce. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs>
Oh, oh. 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 O